You're very welcome back. What colour suits me is a fashion dilemma that never goes away. If you found yourself pondering this idea, don't worry. We've got the answers. Colour and image consultant Maria Macklin is here to help pinpoint my most flattering shades. Good morning. Good morning, Good Elaine. How are you today? I'm very well, thank now, you. You're beautifully well toned with your own outfit here. But can you first tell us what actually is colour analysis and how can it affect our eyes, our hair, etc. and what we wear? Colour analysis is a science which determines, based on your skin undertone, which colours make you look younger, healthier, brighter, glowing, regardless of whether you've had a good night's sleep or not. So even when you're knackered, you won't ever look knackered. What do you mean about skin undertone? So there's a pigment in your subcutaneous layer, in your fatty layer, and some of us have yellow pigment, some of us have blue pigment. You cannot decide, you can't make it up, it just is. And if you have yellow pigment, you surround yourself with warm yellow-based colours. If you have blue pigment, you surround yourself with blue cool colours, blue-based cool colours. So it's yellow or blue, warm it's or cool? It's yellow or blue, warm or cool. Yeah. And you can't decide by looking at your veins, you can't decide by looking in the mirror generally. It's hard, it's a hard process often. And so what I do is I sit you in front of a mirror in daylight, no colour on your hair. If, it, if you have colour in your hair, we cover it. Mm. No tan, no, no makeup in your raw state. And I drape you uh, with blue base colours and yellow base colours to see how your skin reacts mm. to those. Now we did this uh, yesterday when I had no makeup on, give you an awful fright. So we'll <laughs> talk about that in a, a little while and we'll give you an example of what you actually do. Mm. But to talk about what colour can do practically, we're all about sustainability now when it comes to our wardrobe, when mm. it comes to everything else. Um, and a lot of us, we have a wardrobe that's full of stuff that we don't wear because yeah, they just don't suit us. You buy, yeah. I, and look, I like that colour, you buy that colour, yeah. that colour doesn't like you. Or that colour's in fashion, yeah. you buy that colour. So what this does to you, it gives you a really good focus. You go into a shop with a funnel and you have clarity about what works and what doesn't. And if that half of the shop doesn't have your colour in it, you can ignore it and you can focus in on the bit that does. The first thing we do after colour analysis is really, really educate the clients to go into their wardrobe first because subconsciously they have probably got something of their colour in there. It's when the influences come outside that we end up with other people's colours in our wardrobe. So for example, we're talking about the Barbie core, the pinks that were everywhere and everyone was buying them, everyone was wearing them, but they just don't suit everybody. everybody. No. Yeah. Some shades, there are shades of pink in every season, but not that hot pink. Talk to me about the seasons. Okay, so when we do a colour analysis, we split the groups of colours into two groups. So we have the warm yellow base colours and we have the blue cool, cool, the cool blue base colours. The blue base colours are typically, we, we put them into two seasons, winter and summer. So we have that on screen yeah, there. The so. warm based yellow base colours are at the top. They're spring and autumn. We call them spring and autumn because they look like the colours that surround us in those seasons. Mm. However, if you are typed as a spring, you wear those colours all year round and for the rest of your life. Once you do this well once, you only ever have to do it once. So the value will continue with you forever. And how long does the process take and how involved is it? Is it literally just about your skin and draping? It's quite involved because it's, it's a three hour process. I don't do it to you, I do it with you. So yeah. you have to leave my studio with a very clear understanding of what works and what doesn't. And if you're in a shop and you're not sure afterwards, you send me a WhatsApp and I'll tell you. Mm. And as I say to my clients, if you don't want to hear no, please don't ask me because they get an honest But answer. if you change your hair or if you put on fake tan or if you um, do anything maybe that might uh, influence like dye your eyebrows or your mm. eyelashes, mm. will that affect what your colour would be? Your undertone doesn't change. Okay, so, so that the undertone is what will bring you into one of those four. Yes, and that stays, that won't change through your life. Yeah. How, as we get older, we typically fade. So yeah. your eyebrows fade, your hair fades, you know, everything fades. That's just life. I know. That's life. I know. It all so fades. what I encourage my clients to do in that instance is to keep the vibrant colours because everybody has vibrant colours. Mm. Every season has vibrant colours. To keep those up here so that you're you're never ignored, you're never talked over. Mm. And for women particularly, they're less visible than men and mm. they t have a harder time taking their space. Yeah. This empowers people to take their space. Right. So we did a bit of it yesterday. So we'll go I'm going to sit down here and be the guinea pig to do a bit of my analysis. Now I do have makeup on now and I didn't yesterday, but this is uh, what should, what we kind of went through yesterday. So yeah. this is the, um, so you start at the base of white and this kind of the white. reflects off the skin. I'll put my hair behind yes. there. If you want to have a look, what, where am I going to? Wherever, where should I look? Which one? one. There and we then go. I Hello. alternate now. between a cool, okay. which I tie. Oh no, this is, you can't tie that now because it's oh. hiding my mic. We'll just drape. How okay. about that? So we have a cool, yeah. and what I look at 
I start at your forehead and I look at how that interacts with your skin tone. Okay. And if you are warm based, the cool colours will make you look a little bit blue, your lips will slightly disappear. Mm -hmm. And if you are cool, the warm drape will make you look yellow, blurry, jaundiced even. Mm. And so, so that's what I'm looking at. So it's not about whether you like the colour, it's really about whether the colour likes you. Yeah. So um, how long does it take? I mean, how many drapes do you have to put over? Because we can see with this one there, I mean, I it's don't all think about the color. This when thing. you see the color and not you, and that the color takes all your attention away. Good. Yeah, I don't and think. you're fighting with it. Yeah, oops, Daisy. Then, Sorry, put. So yeah. can we put on a, maybe a shade of blue that might suit me then? Yes, this shade of blue is fabulous on you. We discovered this yesterday. It's a warm blue. It's got yellow through it. And when you put that under chin, it's in harmony. It's the harmony and balance is there, and that's what we're looking for all oh, the time. Okay. So by doing this, basically, we can understand which um, um, color or which quadrant I, I, I belong to. Yes, you belong and into the autumn quadrant, which I'm is... I'm autumn. Yeah, like right, me. Right, right. Can you just actually we'll play again? I like this game. Yeah. We've got some more colours on that might actually work. OK. So this... So if I put a selection of autumn colours on mm. you, this one here we discovered yesterday was fabulous. And it's a fabulous lipstick for you as well, because not only do we need the right colours under our chin, we need the right colours yeah. on your you face. Yeah, to match your makeup and everything else as well. We match your makeup and we expect you, we give you the information from top to toe so that you're always in harmony and balance. So these kind of colours would suit me. Yeah. And the ones that don't? The ones that don't are these cool blue base colours. So we have pink and royal blue, a blue based green. So any of these are a bad color. idea for me. Yeah. Lovely. Because then the attention moves yeah. from your face. What we need to do is enhance who you are so you're not fighting with the colours. So what does it do to your skin then if you do wear the wrong colours? Well, if you're blue based and you put yellow colours on you, it'll make your skin go yellow. You look yeah. a bit tireder. You look like you might need to be admitted to A&E. You know, oh God, it's that's be quite drastic. <laughs> but the, the key thing is that it, it gives you, the, it, it yeah. empowers you to wear colour. A lot yeah. of people are afraid of colour. Yeah. A lot of people won't step in, they won't take their space. And so when you have a wardrobe like mine, like when you open the door in the morning and you, you're faced with that instead of a wall of black, first of all, it's beautiful yeah. and it's joyous. Second thing is that everything goes with everything else. So you can see over here that I have some neutral colours yeah. which go with everything. So if I w were to wear any of these trousers, that jumper will work with them all. Yeah. What, what quadrant are you in? I'm in autumn. I'm autumn. Oh, so these well. would suit me too. Yes. Oh, fabulous. The style wouldn't, yeah. but the colours would. Yellow. Yeah. I'm. I'm afraid it's of a, yellow. It's a deep, deep yellow. So the spring yellow is very bright. The autumn yellow is softer and deeper. Yeah. So Lovely. you have a deep yellow and you have a mustard yellow. Yeah. So any the kind of the the, the real kind of citrusy colours, not so much. No, not so much. Mm. They're too bright for you. So if you were in the cool thing, the um. Yeah. The yellows. The, there's only one yellow there. Right, I know it normally takes three hours and we're after doing this very, very quickly, very but thank quick. you so much uh, for joining us on the show today and telling me I'm very autumn autumnal even. <laughs> right, uh, up next we're serving up floral cocktails for spring. See you after the short break.